Alright, yeah, welcome back to Total War Warhammer. So, in the last episode, we took control of Mount Squigorn over here, which completed our province, and we actually managed to get a commandment, so we're actually growing a lot faster now. We need to destroy this unit, because we don't want it to recover. So I think, actually, we're going to hold off... Can we get him in this turn? No, we can't even get him in this no turn. Alright, so we will build our grudge throwers. Uh, do we have technology to do? So, do we want increased everything for our warriors? Do we want increased ammo for our missile units? Or do we want all dwarf infantry plus five leadership? Well, the way I see it, that's an all-rounder. I think we'll go for an all-rounder. All-rounder. Okay. Um, I think what we need to do as well is create a new uh, lord to defend our region. Because we worked hard to get this, sort of. But we're going to be heading north and abandoning it all on the west so I think if we can recruit a lord we should um oh enemy hero action success chance Thungnik dragon slayer yeah let's get this guy time for a reckoning, time for a reckoning. yes it is and ooh, we have very little in the treasury okay we've only got conquest penalties for a turn so we should be back on positive public order by the end of the turn. Did I set this? No, I think we need to do a public order plus two, actually. I think that's probably a lot better. Then we we'll start plusing this, because we're all in minuses all across the board. So I think that's what we need to do. Okay, let's... Oh, Thorin Grudge Bearer has got something to do. Hmm... We haven't done any subterranean intercepts whatsoever yet, so I think we'll leave that alone. Defense for warriors and miners, more ammunition, or armor for our lord. Well, we haven't run out of ammo at any point, but we haven't had a battle yet that required it. I think we'll go for armor, though. I think we need to start boosting up our lord, making him absolutely amazing. So we'll end the turn and see where that guy there goes. Nashrak, I think his name was. Nash something. So he's heading south. And we've got some more guys heading from the west. Barak Vars under attack. Your treasury is running dry, my lord. Soon you will be out of coin. Take action now to mitigate the threat of bankruptcy. Yes, so because I create a new lord, we have more expenses. That is an issue. Uh, let's see. What's that? We've got a surplus of one. And we can't build it because we haven't got enough in the treasury. So we're going to start taxing. Yes, we get plus 373. So our issue was that we needed public order, but to get public order, we need... Can I show you? No. We need a refectory that gives us plus five public order, which will start putting us in the black, as far as that's concerned. And that's when we're taxing as well. So we are just going to tax the area, get some money, and then we can hopefully upgrade to get to that region. Okay. Can we murderize this guy? We mark another grudge. Not quite. Not in my name. Apparently not. Battle initiation disabled. Or oh, ambush. Hmm. Dean knows we're there, doesn't he? Hidden until discovered or battle initiated. Chance of spotting nearby foreign armies plus fifty percent. But I can't move. Hmm. Camp, he's underway. 
I think we'll just leave him there. Apparently, this isn't enough to engage with him. So, we'll do that. The wisdom of Valea. Wisdom of Valea. Right. Um, we need to hold off building units on that, I think, because it's going to cost us 1,600 for that. Ugh. Is there a way that we can disband a few units, maybe? No, not really. I was hoping to group them all together, is actually what I meant. I think we'll hold off a few turns. We'll stop him, make sure he's going down this way. And then, when he's out the way, we'll see what we're doing. Is he not going anywhere? So a unit's heading up to our Kazakh, Karazakrak. And it's going to die very easily. Greenskins and the Crooked Moons have joined in a confederation. Wonderful. Ambush are discovered. Morglum, we have discovered, detected a force belonging to the Blue Spears, which was that one, I think. Unless this is him. Don't really know. But we're going to go up and deal with that. Seam of star metal, that rarest and most sought after of all elements, Gromriel, has been discovered close to dwarf hold. Refining it will bring us prestige and wealth. So we just got two grand for doing nothing. Right, we're gonna bring our army back up and deal with this unit. And Nashrak can do whatever he wants. As long as it's nothing to do with me. Okay, let's end the turn. What's going on? He's raiding our face. Yeah. The Grobby Scum Grudge. We get plus 16 versus green skins and leadership bonuses for three turns. That's cool. And we get plus 750. Consider yeah. varying your tactics when maneuvering in the face of the enemy, my lord. Placing an ambush or setting a defensive camp may bring about victory where a straight engagement would fail. Yes. So, he's raiding us and affecting our public order. Which is minus seven. I'm hoping that I can attack them and get the garrison to join the battle. And that is exactly what's going to happen. Except for it's not showing me my garrison. But we'll ought to resolve this since the balance of power is so much in our favour. Oh, it was, it was literally just the Lord versus that encampment. One deployed and zero lost. I don't know how that happened. But let's execute them. The less they have, the better. And we got some money. Which is exactly what we needed. He's got a feather for talk. Instantly affects the targets in the area. It's a constant duration around him. Minus four armor piercing damage. So it's a damage debuff for any units around him. Can we upgrade this guy as well? Yeah. We'll give him inspiring presence, I think. And send him back into the into the keep. Whatever you want to call it. So we're actually, we have four grand now. So it means we can upgrade the dwarf outpost and in three turns we can get our public order in check. But until then, and we also have the money for it, I believe. Let's dismantle this sparring chamber because we've got two, so we don't need another. Okay, I think that's it. Let's check our book of grudges. So yeah, we need to defeat this army in battle. That one ain't coming back anytime soon. Hmm. Just wondering what the situation is with the rest of the map. So if I went into use underway, oh, I can go straight here. And hopefully I don't get ambushed to the point where I lose. But what I'm thinking is I can take out Karagdron if I need to. And then we've got all sides covered as far as that's concerned. Hopefully. 
I'm aware that the orcs can go under the mountainside, though. Hopefully that wasn't a massive misplay. Bloody Spears are leaving. They lost, so their fighting us is down real low. Raiding has begun. They're raiding us in this region. Well, they won't be doing it much longer because we are going to annihilate them. Yep. Let's just... Well, if we go fight it ourselves, then I can kill Nashrak, but... I'm fairly confident he's going to die anyway. Yeah, decisive victory. Let us murderize them. And that's him gone. Yay. So we've completed our grudge. We get some leadership bonuses, which means might take Karagdron for that exact reason. Since we've got the bonus ready. Research rate plus 10%. Nice. Since we have the bonus ready, it's going to give us a severe advantage over this settlement here. And we can hold it for that point. Still need to go that way though and defeat those guys. But we can wait for a little while until that point. Those are um, a fame. Ooh. Interesting. We met Longbeards. Hmm. Alright. So we've actually got a surplus. It's two to get that one though. Would we want that? Extra income, extra public order, extra growth. Um, does it tell us how long? Yeah, six turns until we get another surplus. Hmm. Well, what do we want in here? We don't want that. And we can't unlock anything else except for Trinket Maker for an extra 200 income. We are building another unit. So we're going to be eating into our up, uh, our income. So I think we'll make a Trinket Maker there. And we'll hold on to the surplus because I want to get this instead. And by the time we've got that, we should have the right amount of funds to deal with it as well. So, interlocking shields, plus 5 armor for dwarf shield units, plus 5 melee defense for dwarf shield units. Unit experience for miners and dwarf units, so we'll get our units more experience for doing that. Or more leadership for lords, and more defense for lords. I think we'll go for the experience. I think the sooner we get this, the, s the more benefits we're going to get from it. And Thorgrim's got a skill point to spend. Skill point in question. Charge bonus, melee defense, hit points. I think we'll get some hit points for Thorgrim. Get him up there. And then let's end the turn. What are we dealing with? We've got a new unit that's just popped up there. It's actually tunneling under. But we are going to destroy Karagdron. We'll just auto resolve it since it's so easy. I'd prefer to fight the simpler, more balanced battles. We get Bugger All and a new rank. Alright. Uh, let's see. Could sack it and get some money. We don't really need this place. Hmm. Or we could occupy it and the rest of the province that's not ours gets a debuff. Hmm. Loot and occupy. So they'll hate us. But we get some money and some instability. 
Yeah, it's loot and occupy. In our place. Ooh, it's got timber. Nice. And, yeah. Speaks for itself, does this one. Right, let's end the turn. Oh, Thorgrim. I always forget that. Level him up. Hmm. I'd like more um blah, blah, blah. can't think of the word now. Ooh. Plus two leadership. I didn't see this down here. Just plus two leadership is all it does. Isn't that what that did? Uh, maybe not. Let's get some defense for our warriors. And we've got three slots. Let's let's get this guy up to twenty. Cannot recruit. Oh, we need an armory for them. Let's get a grudge thrower. And quarreler and some more miners. Two turns, we can stick around, I think. I don't see any threats nearby. Oh, that's a threat. That's a big threat. Oh, maybe not then. Looks like we're going to have to go underneath the mountain and intercept that. A stranger comes. A cloaked stranger from the mist shrouded the mist shrouded land of Albion approaches with a request. He is of sinner, sinister aspect but assures you that his intentions are good. If we refuse him we get a reduction in Varric and chaos corruption in all provinces. We haven't come across any corruption whatsoever. So I'm not that fussed. However, we can get 3,000 and get Chaos Corruption. Eh. I think we'll accept the request. I don't know how much Corruption's going to affect us, though. For three turns, we get plus four. Good. Right. We need to get rid of them. We need to go under the mountain. Oh, we can't get to him in time. Hmm. No way that we can go through this part of the mountain, is there? Because he's going for our base, it looks like. How about marching stance? Where can we get them on the march? Not very far. Alright, we're going to go here. And then we're going to go through the mountain on the next turn. Hopefully, take this guy down. It's Grimgore. Ooh. Yeah, I'm even more worried now. Right, let's see if we can buff our units somewhat. Since we're going to be sat here for the rest of the turn, we might as well upgrade some units. And let's get some grudge throwers. And... Hmm. Grudge throwers, crawler, quarrelers, and warriors. That's going to knock into our income somewhat. But we should be almost done. Yeah, we can get the refectory now. Which is fantastic. And growth plus 22%. want to save some money. We're going to be losing it, I think, in the turns to come. Let's just see what Grimgore does. Ooh, he's attacking our main base. That ain't good. So if he's going to siege us, then we're going to have to... Yeah, these greenskins are just... taking all the factions for themselves. Yeah, the Silver Road's Green under attack. Can we get... We can get right there, but... 
if they intercept us, then we are buggered. So I think we're just going to go to the pillars and then meet them next turn. Hopefully they can't take us. I imagine we've got walls and stuff like that attached to this place. Yeah. And also... Oh, I wanted to let me on. Oh, we can't recruit while he's sieging us. Yeah, forgot about that. Okay. Send the turn, see what he does. Maybe he comes to attack us. And we'll tech him out. No, he's off. He's raiding us, though, I think. Yeah. Attacking our public order. Which means we've got a new grudge to destroy Grimgore. And we get a plus 12 leadership bonus. We can use that. Okay. Foolish being glory. They say you revel in victory. They say you spend more time erecting monuments to battles past than managing the realm. They say you are a fool. We'll see who is the fool. Get either plus six leadership or recruitment cost. We are recruiting a lot. So we need to build this army up. So to cut costs like that at this time would be fantastic. I think we want to switch places with these lords. And then we're going to try meet Grimgore in the battle. You want to exchange? I just want to put everybody in the opposite place. I don't think that was what I meant to do, but all right. Right, get you into the pillars. I think you're going to be the one who goes north, because apparently we have to kill Grimgor, and Grimgor's the legendary lord for the Greenskins, so... Yeah. Is that immortals? Oh, that immortals. Yeah, these guys are... Rank 5 Doom Divers. We ain't got more than a rank one. I don't know how they've managed to get that. Apparently it's been useful for them. Okay, let's get hmm, income from settlements. Public order. What's our public order right now? 69. And we're getting minus one. I think that's from the raiding, isn't it? Yeah. We just got a refectory, so a refectory increases our public order by five. Hmm. We're really close to our surplus, which means we can upgrade Karazakarak next. Once it's done, we could boost it by getting a granary. Or we could just finish off these last. <laughs> Ah, it's because I'm in underwear mode. Yeah. Alright, let's just get militia training, I think. And end the turn. Dragon Slayer, you have perks. I think we wanted to go with that one. We went with that one with Thorgrim, so we want him to be an exact mirror because he's a beast. Oh. Oh dear. Yeah, there's no retreating from that. Hmm. What's this? Lane Siege. Plus two fighting us. <sighs> right. No chance we're winning this. And we can't exactly leave, so let's just auto resolve it. You get a preview of the battle map. That's cool. If you don't crash. <laughs> it's just a plane. Right, we're going to auto-resolve. Hopefully our guy gets out. Doesn't look like he did. I think we've lost our lord. Please don't have killed him. Oh, you're heading down to Squigorn now. I'm going to have to cut him off. You've had enough, mate. It's going to make us fight him down on the battlefield, though, isn't it? Summon me. The denizens are dangerously agitated, my lord. Soon they will take up arms against you. Move swiftly. Crush or appease them. Revolts. And how much did he take? It took 
three grand with him. You son of a bitch. Right, let's get him back into normal stance and then go to the pillars. We are going to avenge our fallen brethren. But that's going to be next episode. I'm going to cut it off here. If you've enjoyed what you see, be sure to leave a like. If you've loved it, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment and all that jazz. I'd love to know how you defeat this. <laughs> uh, but if you're not quite sure, stay for the end card. See the rest of the content we've got to offer. And as always, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.